Joining us now is public relations specialist Ken Sunshine. Ken, good morning. Good morning, Harry. You've represented many very, very important clients over the years. If uh, Tiger Woods were to call you today, what advice would you give him? Uh, you should have called me a couple of days ago. Uh, <laughs> that would be the first uh, first communication. No, I think you know he is. It, it's it's the perfect storm, and his people mishandled it. I you mean, really feel feel that way? Yeah, I mean, you know, Mr. Perfect is never Mr. Perfect, mm -hmm. and. You, they're not used to this kind of thing, and usually, you know, they've clamped up on everything with Tiger for ever. Right. And they don't make him accessible. They don't have him talk. Anybody they sue all the time. Anybody that writes anything tabloidy and maybe untrue. You know. Is that true? I don't know. I, I, they've they've had many lawsuits hmm. uh, against tabloids. It often, and I think it's great, by the way. I'm I'm usually the one that's very that's considered overprotective of my clients. Right. Don't let the media, if you consider these so, tabloids. So, theoretically, then, it's been, they per handled him perfectly thus far until this moment. Well, they handled him perfectly unless something like this would happen. Mm. And putting that clamp around, you know, Mr. Perfect is never Mr. Perfect. Right. Though. I think the worst thing they did, there are two bad things. You know, one is they stonewalled the cops. It looks like they're protecting something. Talk to the cops. I, legally, they may not have to. Mm -hmm. Talk to the cops. Secondly, that bizarre statement yesterday. The other part of that, though, is if you talk to the cops, that's, that just adds to who might leak what, who might say what to whom. It, it creates a bigger trail. True, but if you don't caught, talk to the cops the way he did, mm -hmm. is that made the media go away. Right. And then they release two days, three days too late, a bizarre statement kind of admitting, I think, that he did something, mm -hmm. something bad happened, right. but being very vague, are there, is, there, is there less media interest because of that statement? Right. The whole goal in mm -hmm. dealing with these things is to try to, to make, make the media go, go away. away. Yeah. You know, David Letterman didn't make him go away, but he sure diffused it, and he did it right away. You gotta act right away in these kind of things. Mm. They stonewalled it, and I think mishandled it. He's the first uh, billion dollar athlete. If you are an advertiser, and you may have concerns from uh, whatever has transpired over the last couple of days, is Tiger Woods any less marketable than he was a half a week ago? You know, possibly. You know, some of these straight arrow advertisers may be nervous at, at the very least. But you know, if they handle it right, it could help them. You know, humanizing somebody mm -hmm. is not the worst thing. Nobody's perfect, uh, but they did a bad job for 72 hours and not dealing with it. And let's see what happens now. I think what's happening is the lawyers are telling him not to talk and the agents, and they don't know anything about this. They also don't know anything about the digital age of the news business. This doesn't go. You know, a sleepy Thanksgiving weekend, we, we often try to bury stories in the old days, yeah. sleepy. Ain't no such thing as sleepy anymore. No you know, it, 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 it twitters even more on a lazy. You know, people like me are bored, you know. As much as I love my family, I want to see this stuff. <laughs> Who wasn't following the Tiger Saga this All weekend? All weekend long. Ken Sunshine, thanks for stopping by thanks, this Harry. morning. Do appreciate it.